Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about work energy theorem. In our previous video, we already discussed work and energy. Before we continue our topic for today, let me give you a quick recap on what is work and energy. Work is defined as the energy transferred by a force which causes the displacement of an object. And energy is simply defined as the capacity to do work. Work can be calculated using the formula work equals force times distance. Now that we already defined work and energy, let's proceed to our main topic for today, the work energy theorem. So what is the work energy theorem? The basic idea of the work energy theorem states that when work is done on an object, there will be a change in that object's kinetic energy where kinetic energy is the energy in motion. So this means that work is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Also, keep in mind that kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared and work is equal to force times the distance. To further understand the work energy theorem, let's take this example. A 50 newton force is applied horizontally to a 20 kilogram cart at rest for a displacement of 50 meters across a frictionless surface. So how much work is done by the force? What is the final kinetic energy? And how fast is the cart moving? A force of 50 newton is being applied to a 20 kilogram cart. Now the cart is going to travel for a displacement of 150 meters. So the force is going to be applied until the car travels a distance of 150 meters. Now we need to calculate how much work is done by the force as the car travels. We all know that work is equal to force times the distance. Therefore by applying this formula, work done by force is 7500 joules. So let's go to the next question. What is the final kinetic energy? Now let's apply the work energy theorem. The net work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So that means that net work is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. But since the problem states that the cart is at rest, this means that the initial kinetic energy is zero. Therefore, net work is equal to final kinetic energy and now we all know that the work is equal to 7500 joules therefore final kinetic energy is also equal to 7500 joules and then lastly how fast is the cart moving let's apply again the work energy theorem so net work is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Also kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. So we can write the formula like this. And since the cart is at rest, therefore the initial kinetic energy is zero. Now we can solve the speed of the cart. The net work is 7500 joules and the mass is 20 kilograms. Therefore, we can calculate the speed of the cart. It is very simple, right? Now, look at this another problem. I encourage you to pause this video first and try to answer this problem. How much work is required to accelerate a 20 kilograms cart from 20 meters per second to 50 meters per second? Did you answer the problem? Now let's take a look if you got the correct answer. In this problem, the mass, initial velocity, and final velocity are given. The question is how much work is required. So based on the given problem, what formula are we going to use? Yes, that's right. We are going to use this formula. Work net is equal to 1 half mass times velocity final squared minus one half times mass times initial velocity squared 
So mass is equal to 20 kilograms. Initial velocity is 20 meters per second, and final velocity is 50 meters per second. And now we can calculate the required work. The work net is equal to 21,000 joules. So the network done on the cart is 21,000 joules. Did you get it right? Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about work energy theorem. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone anywhere. See you again on our next videos.